latest on Hurricane Florence, which is still a strong Category 4 storm. We're waiting for some recon data at 9pm Eastern Daylight Time, but at the moment we've still not got anything, so we're going on without for now. Our best estimate, 140 miles per hour and a pressure of 939 millibars. It's a dangerous storm regardless of what its actual readings are. A stage 5 on the CDPS scale and just short of stage 6 already devastating according to its classifications. And these are the distances from land, 485 miles from Bermuda, 1043 from Cape Hatteras, 1125 from Wilmington and 1158 from Myrtle Beach. Those miles starting to tick down onto the last 1000 as we enter the new day. No warnings are in effect at this time, but we may see some hurricane watches and storm surge watches on Tuesday morning. That's according to the National Hurricane Center, and I'd be surprised if that didn't happen. It's pretty assured that there's going to be some sort of warnings in effect very soon. These are what the latest model is saying. They're one of the models, the GFS model, is what it's saying right now. Um, and it's been an outlier, I have to say, in recent runs, as we've been noting on our live streams. Uh, this latest run takes the storm onto the outer bank, stalls it and then does a loop and it's been wanting the storm to do something like that for quite a while. If that sort of thing did happen it would be very strong and very deep there. The wind field would expand massively and then by the looks of things still takes it into North Carolina near the original landfall zone that we're expecting from the National Hurricane Center's track. Sea surface temperatures are very warm, around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. In fact, the National Hurricane Center note that sea surface temperatures will be even warmer ahead of the storm, and very soon we could see Florence approaching Category 5 status in the next 24 hours, I expect, will be when Florence peaks. But then, uh, later on, we expect a little bit of weakening before Florence reaches land. If it does a straightforward landfall, like we're expecting on the forecast from the National Hurricane Center, then it will probably make landfall as a Category 4. If it does a loop round like, like this, like the GFS, uh, it will be a little bit weaker, but will probably deliver huge amounts of rain, uh, higher winds uh, in a, over a broader area, and probably a worse case, actually. These are the chances of tropical storm force winds, 94% at Wilmington, 84% on Myrtle Beach and 51% in Charleston. Washington DC now up to 30% as well. The uncertainty is huge after the landfall, um, but these are what the models are saying for intensity right now over the next few days. You can see the statistical ones uh, getting very close to Category 5 status. The rest of the models there just a little bit lower interestingly. Wind shear is going to stay low, so that's going to be something that's really going to go in Florence's favour over the next 48 hours. And sea surface temperatures, as noted, are rising. You can see the tracks on the left-hand side. Not all models think the storm will stall out at sea, just off the coast, rather. Uh, the HWRF and the H one take it into North Carolina, probably at Category 4 strength. So this is what a Category 4 in the Atlantic looks like. This is Florence right now. This is how it's been looking in the last few frames. Uh, it has been looking pretty decent. Eye temperatures have been around 11 degrees Celsius, although there are rumblings that there may be an eye wall replacement cycle on the way. We'll be watching that particularly closely. But even if one does occur, there will be ample time uh, for the storm to pick up the energy from the ocean and intensify even further tomorrow and probably won't lose much strength as it does this eye wall replacement cycle if it's doing one. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. And we're reaching the end of the third day of coverage on Force 13's live feed. We have updates at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Time on the situation. YouTube.com forward slash force 13 forward slash live.